What's going on, people? Today's topic isn't a great one. Bodybuilder Luke Sander has passed away. No, he uh, usually we talk wrestling, but I really can't be asked to talk wrestling. I want to talk about Luke Sander as a bodybuilder, as a person. Um, Rumours, news, YouTube channels, Google searches, all I'm finding is that he taken his own life, he, he committed suicide. Now, three weeks ago, my brother committed suicide. He was so, like, ugh, who knows, he, he, was, he was schizophrenic. He was bed bound, he was 30, 30, he was 36, he was smoking a cigarette in his flat. He thought he doubted the cigarette, he didn't doubt the cigarette. Flat caught on fire, he fell asleep. He passed away. We got the coronavirus, lack of jobs, lack of money, no work, everyone is just running around, panicking. Propaganda, BBC, all the talking about his people dying every single day for the past six weeks. We've had people dying every single day. <sighs> to the point where, like, it's just getting to the point of just, like, what the hell's going on, do you know what I mean? And now Luke Sandow's passed away, a bodybuilder. Like, where do you go from there? Do you know what I mean? Like, really, like, the geezer's a bodybuilder. A, a, like, a proper, good, good bodybuilder. Do you know what I mean? Like, I thought that bodybuilding, I love bodybuilding. I'm lifting weights myself. I've got my own gym. Like, I'm doing what I can. And then you hear that a bodybuilder passes away. And you just, you think to yourself, what the fuck is going on? Like, why would you as a person want to kill yourself, bro? Like, I like forces someone to do that. Real talk, like, you don't just wake up one day and think, I'm going to take my own life. Like, you've got family, brother. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I just think, personally, it's a sad, sad time. Like, my question is, like, like, if there's a God, why do these things happen? Like, why, like, like, why is there so many bad things happening around the world? If there is a so-called God, like, forget, like, all these different religions. Every, every religion looks up to a God. So, if there's a God, why are all these mad things happening right now, like, what, why are aliens now getting released by the Pentagon? Like, why now? Like, what? Why is now the time where everything's going wrong for everybody? Like, come on, man, this is fucking stupid, people. Like, my subscribers know here, I'm real, man. Like, I'll talk about anything, so you ain't gonna get no more real than this, man. Like, you don't know, just wake up and think you know what i'm like i've had enough i'm just gonna decide to do something that's gonna change everything like do you get what i'm saying people like there had to be more going on in this situation for him to be like you know what i'm done like the the the, the has like oh my god man like is it steroids is it ro roid rage is it is it the corona just forcing people to do stupid shit, is it? Ugh, do you get what I'm saying, people? Like, 
Don't just think that Luke Sando is having it hard. Everyone's having it hard. Everybody right now is having it hard, like. I'm having it hard, like. Most people record what they're doing, like, before they decide to take their own life and do what they're doing, like. I don't know, like, why people decide to just say, I'm done, and then just don't contact you. Don't talk to you to let you know that they're feeling down. You know one of them ones. I don't get it. Like, that's what... That's what's hard about his death, like... Like... I didn't even know the geezer, but yet... Yeah, I'm feeling him because... I've lost somebody. Everyone's lost somebody. When it comes to his bodybuilding, the geezer is a good bodybuilder. You know what I'm saying? I would have loved to have seen him out in Kuwait. Personally, just, just just stay out there, do you know what I mean? Like, the UK is nice. Do it at WN Yates, build your own dungeon. Do what you're doing, commit to it and that. But he was a good bodybuilder. But why is it bodybuilders? WWE wrestlers. pass away at these early ages but then after it's just like oh this happened or this happened like it's always after like legends like he's now a legend you know <coughs> fucked up times people you've been told to stay indoors don't go out. Your life's been changed, but yet you can't see your family. You can't see your mum or dad. You can see them, but you can't hug them or touch them. This is a weird time that we're living in, man. Trust me. Like, how the fuck can you not go and see your family? Go and talk to your loved ones. And then go home and try to carry on with your life like like you're not concerned like like I'm literally just in my yard smoking copious amounts of cannabis waiting for work you know people like hearing about death every day it's fucking like it's quite annoying to be honest I don't know how you guys are taking it, but I'm just not taking it well. I'm, we'll talk. I'm just rolling a joint, thinking of the right words to compliment Luke Sandow, you know. It's a, it's a very sad time. A lot of, a lot of, a load of channels are just making videos just to, just to, I'd, you know what, I ain't even going to slide off the channels. A lot, of, a lot of channels are just putting out content just to put out content. I'm putting out content because I'm lonely and I feel for Luke Sandow's family. If you're a Luke Sandow fan and you are a legit fan in bodybuilding, you'll know what I'm saying when I talk about this. He wasn't up there with the top people. He deserved to be there. Luke Sandow deserved to be up there because he was from the UK. He had the right attitude. And he did what he did when it came to the shows. He made the effort to travel around the world and compete. He was a good bodybuilder. But we all know that the Bodybuilding Association and the judges, it's pretty much set. If you train in Powerhouse Gym New York, you're getting top five. That's that. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you train in Powerhouse, if you're in there with your honey rambads, <sighs> Your Chris Sahitos. You're not really placing top 10, man. He was placing good numbers, but when it comes to Mr. Olympia, his physique, his graininess, he was a good bodybuilder. He could have placed... He could have won some more shows that he could have, that he should have, you know? That's just my personal opinion. I think bodybuilding is very one-sided. And if you're true... Bodybuilding fan, you'll agree with what I'm saying. It's very one-sided. Okay. 
Luke Sandow will be remembered. He's a good guy. Like I said, I like his attitude. You don't need to go to the press conferences, talk all the shit, what the Yanks like to do. He was just himself. He was a genuine guy. Let me know what you think down below, people. Peace.